Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are doing another Forzathon guide. Now this week's Forzathon wants you to use any modern rally car of your choice to complete all of the challenges. So without further ado, let's go and get stuck in and pick out the rally car that we will be using. So when you go into your cars, you can filter them just to show your modern rally cars. Now, if I'm honest, I don't really have a lot of modern rally cars. It's mainly Subarus and three Evos and of course the Focus RS. But we're going to go with the 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, um, mainly because it's just the one that I've used mainly uh, before. Now I have created a tune for it, it's called Forzathon Evo, it's packing 604 brake horsepower and you will definitely need a tune for this first challenge. Now whether you use your own tune or someone else's tune, you will have to make sure that it hits a top speed of 185 mile an hour to complete the first challenge. Now luckily the tune that I have created will hit a top speed of 210.3 mile an hour so it's definitely easily doable. Now I haven't tried it but I'm sure that it will work in any of the Subarus as well and the Focus RS I'm sure can be tuned to do it but it's nice and easy in the 2004 Evo. Now the second challenge wants you to earn a total of 15 stars from Danger Signs. Now the one that I went for is the Ambleside Edge, it's the one that I always use for any sort of challenge like this and all you need to do to get 3 stars on it is hit 650 feet. So if you successfully get 3 stars all you need to do is 5 attempts uh, to complete it and you don't actually need massive run up either, it's nice and easy to do. So as long as you hit the jump at around 120 to 130 mile an hour, you'll fly over 600 feet. So as you can see here, my first attempt was 827 feet. So it's really, really easy to do. And then all you have to do is drive back up the hill, do a U-turn and do it all over again. And like I said, the minimum amount of runs you'll need to do um, is five, obviously getting three stars on each run, and then you'll get your 15 stars. But it really won't take too long, maybe five minutes max. But like I said, all you have to do is rinse and repeat, keep doing the jump, turn around, drive back up the hill, and jobs are good. Nice and easy second challenge there. Uh, nothing too difficult, to be honest. Now, moving on to the third and final challenge, it wants you to achieve a podium finish in the uh, Gauntlet, which is a dirt series race. Now, to unlock the gauntlet, I believe you have to have hit level 20 of Dirt Series, but it's actually quite an easy race, but you don't have to do the whole thing. Now, as I normally do, I've created a race for you guys to use, which is a much, much shorter version of that 15 mile race. In fact, it's 0.2 miles. Now it's called Quick and Easy, and the share code for it is 130969017. And all you have to do is type that in under share codes and this quick and easy race will pop up. Like I said, it's 0.2 miles um, and to help you guys out, I've made it just modern uh, rally cars as well so that you don't sort of end up using any different car. And then all you have to do is race to the finish line and of course you've got your podium finished by finishing first. But it doesn't matter if somehow you don't, you can always finish second or third. It all counts as a podium finish. But luckily you don't have to do the whole gauntlet race. Now anyway guys, I hope that this video did help you out. If it did and you are new to the channel, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Apart from that guys, I wish you all the very best. If you have any questions about any of the challenges or anything else, if it's Forza related or whatever, just please put them down below in the comments section. But apart from that, I wish you all the best and all the best health. Make sure you stay safe and take care guys.